When most people think of New Jersey, they tend to think of the Liberty State Park, the grounds for sculpture, the Liberty Science Center, or the Atlantic City's famous broad walk. But some people's minds are drawn to the man who claims to be living in the most haunted house in New Jersey, Matty Magarachi. Matty Magarachi, or Matty Mags, is a TikTok page with over 280,000 followers. But to begin our story, I'm going to take you all the way back to the very beginning, before the paranormal. On January 20th, 2020, Matty uploaded his very first TikTok video. The video was a skit of him running through his school, and that was how his content maintained for a little while, uploading skits and short funny videos. But it wasn't until an entire eight months later, on the 19th of August, 2020, that Matty uploaded his very first paranormal video. In the caption of this video, he states, that's what happens when you do the Ouija board for a year straight. Two days later, Matty uploads his first paranormal video from inside his house. On the video uploaded by Matty, he states in his caption, I've been saying it for years, and here's the proof. The video blew up in popularity, putting Matty on the map for a lot of paranormal enthusiasts. Bro, so I'm playing fucking COD. I got my headset on. I got one ear on, one ear off. And I hear somebody fucking whisper in my ear, bro. This shit is insane. So I go back to playing COD, and then somebody touches my foot, bro. So that's how I know. There's something in this fucking room. There's something in this fucking house. There's a fucking ghost. And I've been saying it for fucking years. And look at the fucking drawer. It's fucking And in open. the comment section, a lot of people pointed towards a face that they could see from Matty's closet. Off the back of the activity that he had been experiencing in his house that he believed to be down to playing with an Ouija board, he decided to phone in a psychic medium. And one day later, on the 22nd of August, he uploaded this string of videos. <laughs> He's here. Hey, what's, going on? what's up, brother? How are you? I'm good. Tell him your name. Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm a spiritual medium. And what do you do? What's your superpower? I talk to people who passed away. I give life after death uh, information uh, that your loved ones are still in spirit and they're with you. Honestly, you think that could have opened by itself? No, it's, you gotta, you gotta really pull on this thing. That's what I'm saying, yeah. right? Try again. I feel like there's something up on the top there. I don't know. Dude, that's my fucking attic, dude. Yeah, Are you fucking right. kidding me? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no. I, just, I feel like the energy is going from from wherever you experience this, it's going up there. The so it's from the fucking attic. Well. Okay. Hold on. So, um, those two little girls that are around here. You're lying. Dude, what the fuck are you telling me right now? I feel like it's two little girls. Two spirit girls. Two little spirit girls that are opening their jaw and that are running around here. And that's that's kind of what I feel. So what are you telling me to do? What what am I doing? What do I got to do? Well, I'm just telling them to leave you alone. You're going to tell them to leave me alone? Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. And you're telling me it's coming from the fucking attic? Well, they, they go up there. What do they do up there? Play hopscotch? Is that what I'm hearing in the middle of the night? Are they dangerous? No, they're not dangerous. They're so dangerous. I'm not going to get, like, no, attacked? No, no, it's not dangerous. It's just died in a house fire. Look at this. This is... He's legit, man. This, I mean... There you go. Do you know their names? I hear Elizabeth or Liz. I hear that, that name. And what else? Uh, and I hear the name Hannah. What? All right, one more thing. People are saying that they've seen a face over here. What is that? I feel like it's one of the little girls. I feel like it's a little girl, Hannah. I feel like her face, and she has blonde hair, too. So she's what? Yeah. And how could have her face been in there? What, did she hop in here? Like, what? Well, yeah, just... She energy. makes, like, an impression, an it's energy? An impression. It's, a, it's, a, it's staining the atmosphere of, of, of the uh, space. So that's where they... Sometimes they will, they will show their face... Um, informed, but she's a little girl, so that's why you saw her kind of crouched on the ground. So, but there was spirits. There was a spirit. And they did open this? They did open that, yeah. And, and what were they trying to, were they trying they're to tell? They're playing, they're playing, they're, they're just being playing. Yeah, playing, and I'm yeah. fucking scared as fuck, and they're playing with me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the spirit world, so that's what they do. I just told them to leave you alone. So. Thank you, brother. Okay. You're the man. 
I'll let you know if anything else happens. On these videos, Matty's comments section were incredibly divided. Some believing that the psychic that he'd brought over was just a friend that he'd set up to try and gain some attention. That guy is an absolute imposter slash fraud. I hope you didn't pay him. I totally believe you, man. Honestly, I can tell this is real. This guy is making it up as he goes, lol. But one comment that really stood out to me was one that said this. So, is this real or fiction? And Matty responded with 100% real, bro. Backing that his content that he was uploading was 100% genuine. Later that day, Matty uploaded yet another video to his TikTok platform. Yo, tell him, Casey. This Ouija board Yo, man. fuck this Ouija board, boy. Gasoline. Motherfucking... Lighter in this bitch? <laughs> Fuck you! The caption read, Burning the Ouija board didn't get rid of them, it just pissed them off. Might get a new one though, and make videos. Claiming that the Ouija board that he had burnt didn't stop the problem, it just increased it or angered the spirit that was in his house. Therefore, he was planning on buying another Ouija board to make content with. A few days go by and Matty is continuing to upload paranormal content to his TikTok channel, trying to document and evidence his claims to being haunted. But it was a video uploaded on the 25th of August that blew everything up for Time Matty. to enter the abyss. The fucking lollipop owls up here because we get fucking raccoons and this scares the fuck out of them. What scares the fuck out of me is this Halloween decoration. It's hot as fuck up here. Pretty much just fucking installation and darkness. The air conditioning unit. One comment highlighted by Matty, which spurred on a follow-up video. YTF, is there a doll sitting in the rafter, top left? of the AC unit. Matty highlighting this comment headed back up into his attic to try and show what the comment was talking about. No fucking way, dude. Are you kidding me? How the fuck did this get up here? And who fucking put this up here in the first place? I just heard something. I definitely just heard a whisper. Fuck. I definitely just heard a fucking whisper, bro. I'm bugging. And the following day, he uploaded a video with an alarming caption. Attention, this is not a skit. This shit is real. I made something from the unknown pissed off, and this is the outcome. See what she's doing. And she's not there. What the fuck? Where is she? She's on the ground. Bro. No way. Zero explanation on how this motherfucker got on the ground. Zero. There's no fans up here, no fucking draft. Should I pick her up? Oh man, I don't know what to do. Fuck it. As soon as I pick this doll up, my fucking back is on fire. Can y'all see anything? Shit fucking burns. The comment section pointed out that it was a Raggedy Ann doll, which alarmed a lot of people in the comment section, as that is the same type of doll as the infamous Annabelle doll that Ed and Lorraine Warren claimed to be the most haunted artifact in their entire museum. After touching the doll at the end of the video, Matty claims to have experienced a burning sensation on his back. He goes down into his bathroom to show in the mirror the area that he is claiming to be experiencing the burning sensation. The comments section were divided, some claiming that the mark on his back was merely a tattoo, but some saying they can definitely see a definitive red mark on Matty's back. The following day, after hearing some rattling sounds coming from his attic, Matty decides to start recording and that he is going to be heading back up into his attic. Fuck is that noise? Oh, man, that means I only got one thing to do. Gotta go up. Oh my fucking god, I'm terrified. I could have swore I just saw something when I opened this up. Immediately go right by. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, I didn't fucking put her there. I'm done. Nope. Fuck that, bro. 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 
The comments section of this video were incredibly supportive of Matty's claims. Someone even stating, No, I don't believe in ghosts or anything, but if it's real, may Scott have mercy on your soul. The next few videos from Matty are videos from his attic, where more weird and creepy paranormal activity is being documented. Matty uploaded a video that was a story time from his mum, who explains some weird things that she's also experienced from their house when she's been home alone. Story time. Tell my followers the day when I left and what you heard in my room. Go. Um, I was downstairs watching television with my daughter and we were trying to watch a really good movie and all I kept hearing was Matthew screaming the top of his lungs and we kept saying, Matt, be quiet, we're watching a movie. Knock it off. And we heard him scream again, Matt, knock it off. I go look outside, Matt's car's gone. We run upstairs, no Matt. Yet, we heard Matt screaming, playing video games. So, apparently these ghosts or whatever this, this, these entities are, is they copy our voices. Oftentimes, I'm in my room and I think I hear my husband screaming for me and I'm like, what, what did you want? And he's like, what are you talking about? I didn't call you. Whilst home alone, Matty's mum claims to have heard a voice that sounded just like Matty's mimicking him and summoning her into another room. More time passes and on the 1st of September 2020, after having a lot of activity in his attic, Matty decided that he was going to leave a stationary camera up in his attic to see if he could capture evidence of what was making the noises. After reviewing the footage closer, Matty ran the footage through a few filters and he found some disturbing pictures. Over the course of the month of September, Matty is uploading various videos ranging from the paranormal to his pet tarantula. But things change up on the 19th of September 2020. In the caption, Matty says, This is fucking insane. My mum called me in the basement because she said she was hearing voices. Mum, that's somebody crying. Oh, the, do you hear that? Yes! <laughs> One of the top comments on the post was I'm trying to turn it up to listen, but your brother's voice keeps scaring the shit out of me. Matty then responds Brother? I don't have a brother, lol. Showing that there was a second male's voice apart from Matty's in the video that could be heard. On the 24th of September, Matty uploaded a video where he talks about buying a new haunted doll to celebrate reaching the 30,000 followers. Yeah, so I'm thinking about buying this fucking haunted doll off eBay. Extremely negative energy. Doll's name's Mia. In the description, the lady says her husband was making fun of the doll, and then when he flipped the switch of a light, he got fucking electrocuted. She also says the doll made her very paranoid. She got a sick feeling. Stuff would start moving around the room. And several members of her family started seeing, like, strange figures and shadows moving in her room. She also got sleep paralysis where she couldn't move and was forced to look up at the shelf where the doll was staring right back down at her. She doesn't think the vessel of the doll is human. She also said, if you have a better house for the doll, all the power to you and you've been warned. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Later that day, Matty then uploads a video with the haunted doll. It starts off with him accusing his mother of trying to prank him by using this new haunted doll of his. His mother, incredibly confused, responds with this. Good try. What? Good try. What do I do now? You're trying to fuck with me downstairs. You did that. What are you talking about? I have, I'm so you're not fucking with me right now? No, what are you talking about? Come here. Just come here. So I was coming down here to like water my tarantulas and yeah, give this some. Yeah, this place looks like a shit box. 
And what the fuck is that, Mom? What? But how did it get here? I don't know. Did Danielle put it there? I didn't fucking put it there. I've been down here. I've been down here countless times. I've never fucking seen the doll on the couch. I don't know. If you're asking me, I was at school teaching my kids. Bro, I've never seen this doll. And it's weird because I was just looking at fucking dolls. Bro, what the fuck? And on the 1st of October, Matty uploaded yet another terrifying TikTok video where he claims the haunted doll was moving on its own. I did an experiment. I saw in the comments to put like baby powder baking soda up there and to see if I get any footprints or any activity. So I did that around the Annabelle doll and I didn't go up there for a few days. And what you're about to see is the result. Bro, I put the fucking Annabelle doll right here where it's been. Put the baking powder right here. Bro, look at these little motherfucking footprints, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? And guess where she is? Right here with her fucking back turned. Look at this. Look at this. Bro. Are you fucking kidding me? After capturing this on camera, Matty decides to take the doll downstairs and reset the baking soda that he had left on the floor. He goes back up later that day and discovers this. Alright guys, so I fucking brought the doll downstairs and I reset the baking soda. Because just like you guys, I'm like, this has got to be bullshit. Or someone is pranking me. So I brought the doll downstairs and I reset the baking soda and I come up this morning and... It looks the same, but like a little different. Like that right there looks like fucking fingerprints. There's like this fucking piece of wood. And I was looking like closely, bro. Look at this long fucking hair, bro. Look at this. Bro, what the fuck? I don't know. So maybe it's not even doll prints. Maybe it's like fucking fingerprints or toe prints. I don't fucking know. But it's really fucking weird, bro. Like, I don't the know. The activity then seems to move away from the basement and away from the attic and more into view of Matty. This popular video uploaded by Matty reached 414,000 views. And it's one of the first times that Matty captures something moving on camera. Bro, so I'm watching TV. And this Broly statue was facing towards me. And it fucking turned to the right, bro. Literally just shifted to the right. Unbelievable. I couldn't get my fucking phone out fast enough to get it on film, of course. And now that I'm filming, it's not gonna fucking do it. Bro, like, here's my fucking hand, bro. And it literally just started tur- Bro. That thing just fucking rocked. Bro, here's my hand. My other hand is fucking filming, bro. It... No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. Bro. What the fuck? Yo. This one I actually believe and get behind into the fireplace it goes. I believe this man. Hope my instincts don't fail me. This shows that this documentation from Matty was one of the first videos that people could back and get behind. Matty claims in a follow-up video after capturing the earlier incident, a further figure falls over. Almost two months pass and not much activity has uploaded from Matty's house. That is until the 19th of November, when Matty's most popular video to date with 1.9 million views is uploaded. What the actual fuck? I'm home alone. I hear a loud noise downstairs. I start videoing and this happens. I'm out. What the fuck? What the fuck? One of the top comments on the video was 744 likes. You can see the carpet moving right before he steps back. The first few steps, something is definitely coming upstairs. Why is nobody talking about the first voice? They're home alone. Matty then uploads a string of popular videos with very similar activity, where strange noises can be heard around the house and Matty is trying to follow them. What is that fucking noise? 
Bro, that is weird. I don't know what that is. Now it stopped. I hate that fucking frosty. Oh, man. Shit just gets weirder and fucking weirder. I don't know, man. And on the 20th of December, another video is uploaded from Matty with some strange activity captured right in front of his eyes. Hello, is anybody with us? Anyone? Guess not. Little girl? Anybody? Eight days later, another popular video was uploaded by Matty, reaching over half a million views. Matty can hear whistling, even though in the caption of his video, he claims to be home alone. He tries to chase the source of the noise, but finds nothing. Hello? Yo, somebody's with... What the fuck? Nobody's home. Hello? Sam? Danielle? Again, more time passes without Matty uploading a paranormal video from his house. Until the 5th of February 2021, when the two haunted dolls that he has in his house start causing chaos once again. I'm bugging the fuck out now. I put those two fucking haunted dolls under my bed. Right? With this fucking Ouija board. I go to look for them. And they're not even fucking here anymore. Another two months pass when Matty uploads yet another strange paranormal activity from his house. What's going on? The strangest part of this video is his dog on the landing, who seems to be on high alert. As Matty continues to document the paranormal activity over his house for the next few days, a video is then uploaded where Matty is asking his followers what they think he should do with the Ouija board that he believes to be the root of the problem of his haunting. Guys, what do you think I should fucking do with this thing? I don't even want it in my crib no more. At all. I don't want this fucking thing anywhere near my house. This thing is a fucking problem, bro. I'm good off it. The fuck? I feel like I'm hearing shit in this fucking attic now. As soon as I take out the fucking Ouija board. Whatever you do, don't burn it. Use the board, close the portal, tell whatever came through the board is not welcome. And make sure you say goodbye. Move the planchette to goodbye. Go throw it in a lake far away. Just don't burn it or like destroy it. Just put it somewhere. I had this problem before. You messed it up, guy. You're supposed to say goodbye when you when you're done. Or the portal will stay open. Say goodbye and burn it and bury it. It's already too late when you brought it into your home. And then on the 14th of April, Matty decides that he's going to upload a story time video to his TikTok followers. And then 11 days later, Matty uploads yet another terrifying video of him and his mum after they can hear mimicking voices and having lights flicker on and off in different rooms. What's going on? The light in the pantry is going on and off, on and off. Then it blinks, then it's on and off. Then I come out to see what's going on, and it sounds like you're having a con- You said something to me, like you were having a conversation with me, and you're up here playing video games. I don't know. And then the dogs all start barking. After experiencing yet more paranormal activity through his house, Matty decides that it is time to, in his words, Fight back. In the video, you can see a holy Bible and a crucifix. Alright, it's time to fucking fight back. With the big guns. Look at that. They ain't gonna like this. And I got him on the cross. How you like that, motherfucker? The comments section were incredibly concerned for Matty's safety after claiming that he was going to fight back against the demon that was in his house. Don't play with things you don't understand. Demons are as real as angels. If you open that portal, please know how to close it. Bro, that's not gonna work. As someone who's been possessed for using these wrong and too often, please be careful. You can't just carry around crosses or throw Bibles at them. You have to believe in your heart that Christ 
is real and will protect you. As more time goes on, Matty decides to take more extreme measures in trying to combat whatever is in his house. In a video uploaded on the 28th of May 2021, Matty gives a little house update to his followers who have been asking what kind of things have been going on in his house. A lot of people have been asking me what's been going on in the house. Here you go. So recently I was able to get some of this. Holy water, supposedly from the Vatican. And I've been dousing this shit everywhere. When I mean everywhere, legit everywhere. My pillows, under my bed, the fucking floor, everywhere. And I guess it's been working because it's been quiet until last night. Last night I'm sleeping and guess what? Boom, big ass bang I hear. I wake up, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Look on the ground. Jesus on the cross. I look up in this corner, it's just like a pitch black mist. I blink and it's just gone. In the video, he claims to have caught a demon on camera who was not a big fan of the crucifix that he had bought into the house. Three days later, Matty then uploads a video where in his words, his room was wrecked by the spirit or entity that is residing in his house. I fucking wake up this morning to my room wrecked. Shit fucking everywhere. All my Dragon Ball Z statues all over the floor. Look at this. Fucking holy water spilled. My PS4 is hanging on by a fucking thread. I fucking turn over here. This holy Bible was fucking over there. Moved over. And look at this. The Ouija board's fucking open. And the planchette fucking thing's hanging out. And it was under my fucking bed, bro. And this was fucking knocked over and it was up An here. An entire month later, Matty then gives his followers yet another update of something incredibly terrifying and strange that happened to him in his house. I guess last night I had a visitor. And, uh, it's a familiar face that you guys are going to remember. I wake up this morning with a fucking burning sensation on my chest. I go walk into my bathroom. And this is what I fucking see. I don't know if you can see it, but look at that. And I don't even got long fingernails at all. Fucking three fucking lines, three scratch marks. So instinctively, I go over here where the Ouija board is. And I go, look, and uh, check this shit out. I see a fucking strand. A red fucking strand, right? Take a closer look. What the fuck? This motherfucking doll has been gone for months. I haven't seen the fucking likes of this motherfucker anywhere. And all of a sudden it shows up. And when it shows up, I got three fucking scratch marks across my fucking chest. And by the request of his followers, he leaves yet another night vision camera up in his attic to record overnight to see if he can capture any paranormal activity. Due to the growing popularity of Matty's videos on the platform of TikTok, he is invited onto the Travel Channel show Paranormal Court on Camera. We made it. Matty Magarachi and Travel Channel. It's happening. Paranormal Court on Camera. All thanks to you guys. Love my followers. A few days later, another incredibly popular video is uploaded by Matty, reaching over 2.5 million views. This is another time when Matty claims to be home alone and is experiencing more paranormal activity. And you're serious. Why every time when I'm home alone? You've got to be fucking kidding. Right? Are you fucking kidding me? And that door was 100% open. What the fuck? Bro. What? Most paranormal or TikTok pages 
with the growth in popularity of Matty's channel and videos came skepticism in the comments section and from other users on the platform. This seems to have taken a bit of a toll on Matty, as on the 20th of November 2021, Matty uploads yet another video to TikTok, addressing the people who do not believe in his content and reaffirming the fact that what he is experiencing, to him, is 100% legitimate. Long time no see. There's a motherfucking reason though. I don't post every single day because, you know, I post real shit, okay? If I was to post every single fucking day, it'd be fucking, it would be scripted, it'd be fake. Because these people on TikTok who post shit every single day of something happening, it's bullshit. Because the shit just doesn't happen every day. How, like... Like, big shit. Like, yeah, the door open and close, you know. Little shit will happen every day, but, like, nothing crazy, you know. I've been trying to ignore it. But you can only ignore it for so fucking long. But it wasn't until the 9th of December 2021 that Matty thinks that he finally understands what might be haunting him. By adding things together, he believes that he is being haunted by a skinwalker. I think I might be dealing with a fucking skinwalker. So yesterday, I'm walking my dogs down in the woods. Right? Didn't bring my phone like a, like a fucking moron. And all of a sudden, my dog just stops in its tracks. And he's gazed in on the fucking woods, right? I'm looking. And I see a deer. A big fucking deer. This motherfucker has antlers. My dogs want nothing to do with this particular deer. Nothing. My development is supposedly built on Native American Indian fucking burial ground. Right? Great, great. I look back up the deer, right? And guess what? The fucking antlers are gone. They're not there anymore. It was the only fucking deer. And deer don't have fucking retractable fucking antlers. That's a motherfucking skinwalker. And on the 29th of December, 2021, yet another popular video is uploaded. He's walking around after hearing some strange noises coming through his house with a crucifix. Guys, it's the same old fucking story, but I'm fucking scared this time. I'm fucking literally walking around with this shit. Bro, like there's- What the fuck was that? Yo! Yo! What the fuck? Bro, that- How the fuck did that just- This fucking thing just got pushed down the stairs. God bless. I gotta get the fuck out of this house, yo. And with more time passing by, with very little uploads on the paranormal front from Matty, he gives yet another haunted house update to try and update his followers on the strange things that have been going on. The other night, Danielle, you guys met her now. Still hasn't eaten her goddamn French toast, but that's besides the point. Was downstairs in the living room. And, uh... She heard my mom call her in the next room. And Danielle didn't get up, but she was like, what? Like, yada, yada. And uh, Danielle said that she was asking her to come in the room. Danielle was like, I don't feel like getting up. Whatever. My mom was asking her questions and shit. My, Danielle said that they were like weird questions. So Danielle finally gets up. And goes into the room, and guess what? My mom's not even in the fucking room. Because guess where my mom is? Upstairs, in my room, talking to me. And the craziest part is, when my mom was upstairs in my room, what we were talking about was about this. And then, on top of all of it, this morning... I wake up with a fucking giant, like, gash across my nose. Look, you can see the blood a little bit. It's fucked up, bro. Fucked up. I smell crap. You need to burn it. Trust me, it's a demon. Demons can take the form of anything and anyone. I dealt with the same thing. Put security cameras up at night to record anything weird. Matty then takes a long period of time away from TikTok and uploading the paranormal content to his channel. People start to get concerned for Matty as they do not see him for a little while. Concerned for his well-being and health, they are met dropping messages and comments to him quite regularly. Matty then makes a video to address that he is still okay and he is absolutely fine, but in the time that he's had away from TikTok, he's had a priest to his house to try and seek advice and get help 
on the demonic activity that's been going on in his house. No, I'm not dead. I know it's been a while. A lot of people have been DMing me asking me if I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Uh, knock on wood. These motherfuckers are always listening. Uh, but I do got some news. So, in my time of absence, I had a priest here. Everyone's like, oh, I have a priest. I have a priest. So, I finally got a priest here. And I asked him if I could film. He didn't want to film for whatever personal reasons. And he came here and he's got like spiritual background and shit. So, he walked in my house and he made this like weird face. Like weird fucking face. I can't explain it. I said, is everything all right? And he goes, uh, no, everything's not all right. I said, what do you mean? Explain. He goes, you have a very strong entity. I've only experienced something like this a few times in my life. What he also said is that there's like a hierarchy. So there's this one entity that's like top dog in my fucking house. And then they have, he has like a couple little followers who does his little biddings. So he's like saying these prayers that almost didn't even sound fucking like English. Right? And as he's fucking saying them, my door opens up and then it's like a little soft knock. And then he goes, it's showing itself. And I'm like, holy shit. A video that blew up in incredible popularity with over 2.7 million views was by far Matty's most terrifying video to date. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? Bro, what was that? <sighs> what the fuck was that, bro? This video got the comment section incredibly divided with people chiming in with all their different opinions on what it could have possibly been that Matty had caught on camera. Matty's episode of Paranormal Caught on Camera then aired on the Travel Channel and this is where Matty was able to get some advice from some experts from within the paranormal field on the weird activity that had been going on in his house and getting some verification from some people who knew what they were talking about. This is a little weird. So we kept getting these type of spirits, were good spirits. And then one day we got a spirit that was like an evil spirit. It started cursing at us saying like, F you, like go die, like stuff like that. After that happened, weird stuff around my house started going on. Weird stuff that over the years has escalated. Scratches stuff disappearing, reappearing, us seeing these outlines of people, hearing people running up and down the stairs in the middle of the night, hearing big loud bangs, and literally in front of our faces, seeing a door open and close in front of our eyes. Eventually, Maddie began to film as much as he could. And even though it's been over a decade of activity, He's still overwhelmed when it happens. Like it did in April of 2021, when he was alone in the house. Or so he thought. Bro, nobody is home. My family is in Cancun, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Bro! What the f Bro, are you kidding me right now? What? The f Bro! Bro! Why is this door open? What the f is going on? This stuff that's happening is pretty extreme, and it is all things that I have come across when I have been dealing with poltergeist phenomena. Bro. 
We see doors opening and closing on their own. We see lights flickering on and off. We have all of this different activity happening. Toilets are flushing and sinks are being turned on and off. And it's clearly ongoing. And has been for quite some time. Bro, look at this. I'm watching Harry Potter and boom. A thing of Q-tips just goes flying off the shelf. Oh, no way, bro. Hello? Yeah, somebody's with. What the? F There's something in this house. There's a ghost, and I've been saying it for years. And look at the drawer. No. Oh. It's just insane about the stuff that goes on in this house, and it's definitely all from the spirit board. A spirit board is not intrinsically evil at all. It's not something that is inherently dangerous to use. Where it potentially gets dangerous, as stories and legends tell us, is when people don't approach it with the appropriate level of respect. Daily use of a spirit board is a little excessive. If you continue and continue and continue poking at the spirit world or invoking them to come into your home, you're going to invite all sorts of energies within your space, and these are a bunch of energies you don't know. And even worse than inviting a bunch of strange spirits into your home is not telling them when it's time to get out. At the end of every session, you're supposed to close the spirit board out and say goodbye, which is closing it out, you know? We didn't do that. We didn't even say goodbye. We would just be like, all right, we're done. And we would just throw it to the side. We didn't even put it away or nothing. So that portal never closed. It just stayed open. When using a spirit board, it's very important to establish boundaries and guidelines. And at the end, close out the session. Now, there's no specific magic words, no abracadabra, no anything that you have to say, but it's your intent. One of the best things to do is to really use your voice and vocally project saying that now this session is ending, you need to exit, you need to go out where you came. It's a almost a ritual and, and a, a type of respect to close that door to that portal, to that opening, to make sure that whatever has come in has also left. Unfortunately, Maddie and his family are past that point. So, what now? We've been saging, we've had psychic mediums, we have holy water being doused everywhere. I literally have the holy water next to my bed. Thinking of actually bringing a priest over to the house, maybe that will help. But that's where, where we need help. You gotta be kidding me. Depending on what you feed, that energy is what you get back from the hunt. You can literally turn that energy into something demonic in nature through fear, or if there's a lot of respect and understanding of the spiritual nature of the energy, then maybe you could turn into something more of a guardian type energy. But if he continues to fear it, it's just gonna feed off that fear because energy is what it's given to manifest. Bro, I'm done, bro. I gotta get the out of here. This added credibility to Matty's videos, and people began to turn from disbelievers to believers on Matty's content. And this was shown within the comments section of his videos, with there being a lot less skepticism on his content and a lot more believers. It also boosted Matty's popularity on the platform, with him gradually increasing in followers over the following months. Matty, to this day, is still uploading lots and lots of paranormal activity from his house ranging from attacks on himself personally, strange things happening around his house with lights flickering, doors moving, and unexplained noises. But I leave it down to you guys to decide. Is this man living in the most haunted house in New Jersey?